When Windows encounters a critical system failure, it creates what's known as a crash dump file. These DMP files are your key to understanding what went wrong. A DMP file contains a snapshot of your system's memory at the exact moment of the crash. This snapshot preserves critical information that helps identify the root cause of the failure. There are several types of dump files, each serving different purposes. Full memory dumps capture everything, but are very large. Kernel memory dumps focus on system level information only. Mini dumps are particularly valuable because of their small size. They contain just the essential information needed for analysis while being easy to share and store. Every DMP file contains specific components that provide different pieces of the puzzle. The header contains basic crash information, while exception records detail exactly what went wrong. These dump files are invaluable for diagnosing system problems. They help identify faulty drivers, hardware issues, and software bugs that cause crashes making them essential tools for system administrators and developers. WinDBG Preview is now the primary tool for analyzing DMP crash dump files. It offers a modern interface with enhanced debugging capabilities, including time travel debugging. Before analyzing any dump file, you must configure your symbol path. This is crucial for translating memory addresses into meaningful function names and code locations. Once your symbols are configured, you can use essential WinDBG commands to analyze crash dumps. Let me show you the most important commands you'll need. The analyze command with verbose flag is your first step. It provides automated analysis and often identifies the faulting module or driver immediately. Stack traces show the sequence of function calls leading to the crash. Use K, KB, or KV commands to examine the call stack and identify where the problem occurred. The LM command lists all loaded modules. This helps identify which drivers or applications were active when the crash occurred, often revealing outdated or problematic components. Thread analysis using the thread command reveals detailed information about each thread's state, helping identify deadlocks, hangs, or synchronization issues. Pool memory analysis using the pool command helps identify memory corruption, leaks, or allocation issues that can cause system instability. Here's a practical example. A system service exception with code 0x3b often indicates a driver issue. The analysis reveals the faulting driver, and examining the stack trace shows the problematic function call. Remember this workflow. Configure symbols, open the dump file, run analyze verbose, examine the stack trace, check loaded modules, and investigate threads or memory as needed. This systematic approach will help you identify and resolve most crash issues.